Name a more iconic duo then. A twink. And a redhead. A twink. And a redhead. A twink. And a redhead. A twink. Hi, you guys. Hi. Welcome to the first episode of A Twink and a Redhead, the podcast. I am Grant. I'm Ash. A lot of people are predicting that this is going to win a Pulitzer. Already? Yeah. There has been a lot of buzz about this. There's been so much buzz. The girls have been asking for it, and we are here to deliver. Um, A lot of people on TikTok, you guys. So we are originally a TikTok page. We make a lot of, you know, a lot of silly content, but also just we're really hot, and so we like to you know capitalize on that as well on mm-hmm. tiktok and so in less than a year we've garnered like a hundred thirty thousand followers yeah something like almost that. like 10 million likes and the thing about us that i think a lot not a lot of people know about is how we got that page started yeah how did we get that page so started? gray and i decided how are we gonna we wanted to make videos together silly little videos and you know what i hear a siren Please shut the hell up if you're going to start talking about that and the production value. Okay, we are in our apartment. We are at home. We we live together. We live in the we live in the greatest city in the world and we have the greatest fire department in the world. And so that's what you were just hearing. Thank probably. you, FDNY. And if you hear, you know, more sounds like that, then and someone's having an emergency. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> Literally, and it's insensitive that you would you would like question our production value when someone is literally having an emergency right now. So rude. Anyways, back to what you oh, were saying. Back to what Ash. I was saying. Thank you. Thank you so much. For You're so welcome. That. Um, we decided we wanted to quickly get a lot of followers because we weren't being patient. And <laughs> Grant came up with the genius idea. Grant already had some followers, so mm-hmm. he created our account. Um made the profile picture black and made it private. And then Mm -hmm. Grant went on his account and said, you guys, I think Taylor Swift has a secret TikTok. Yep. And we, overnight, we gained about 1,500 to 2,000 followers. Yep. And then we went off private and we revealed our true identity. We lost about maybe 600 to 800. But you know, but we were left with like a healthy sum. Yeah, we had enough to go live. Like we had over a thousand. And so, do I feel guilty about it? No. No. I don't, quite frankly. Um, and I and I'm sure the thousand who did join are still with us today. They're still with us today and they're listening right now. So thank you guys so much. Thank you. And for those of you who don't know us, we're just a twink and a redhead living in the city that never sleeps, you guys. Yep. The um, city of love. The city. <laughs> <laughs> the windy city. Wait, what the hell? That's wh- that's the city of love. That's like Austin. <laughs> Are you <laughs> serious right now? What city? Paris. Wait, is not America? No. Okay, well, some of us don't know geography as mm. as well as others. One thing you will get to know about us is that Ashley's, like, so smart with books. Like, so she's so, like, well-read. And I am not. Yeah. You've, you've beat me in other categories, like... Everything else. Body count. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you've gotten around in a lot of other ways. Not necessarily reading books, but... Getting fucked. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, I mean, if... I'm sure. That's All fine. these things matter. These things do matter. So this podcast, basically, we, we kind of came up with a format. Of course, things could change. But we're going to have a little, you know, intro. Say our hellos. Talk about our lives. I feel like one of the things that people say on TikTok is like, are y'all ever serious? Like, no, <laughs> no, no, but you know, we might be time to time on here. I might. We might be. Um, so we're going to talk about our lives, what's going on. Um, and then we're going to get into each, each something we do on TikTok. We do the tone word of the month. And so each month we select a word that's going to set the tone for the next month. You know, we've celebrated months like vengeful August, uh, narcissist July, self-pity September, you know, so you get the point. Mm -hmm. Each episode is going to have a word of the episode. (laughs) Where we're going to explore 
uh, just a different topic. And we're going to really dive in. It might pertain to our lives, pop culture, history, mm-hmm. lore, mythology. It could be anything. It could be anything. It could be anything. Um, and then we'll close out the episode with a, a little section we like to call announcements for the good of the group. Um, now, this, we'll explain this when we get there. But it's just, you know, it could be advice. It could be you know, an announcement about an event, like something some, that's going on that we want to talk about, make you guys aware of, mm-hmm. or just, you know, something coming up that's important to be on your radar. Yeah. 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 So now we're going to get into the tone of the episode. In this episode, we, we will, will be exploring, exploring carnivals. carnivals. Yep. Everyone's been asking, where is your carnival content? Here it is. <laughs> Um, you guys, if you know us from TikTok, then you might know where this is heading, but me and Ashley have known each other since a long time. We're from the same hometown in New Jersey, and we actually met at the sixth Sixth grade grade carnival. carnival. So the sixth grade carnival was an event where the sixth graders went through a dare course where we learned about the perils of... Drugs. drugs and alcohol and we mm-hmm. all got together and signed a pledge that we we'll would never. be drug free and alcohol free and yep. we've we've really lived up we have lived that. by that i would not I, I would never i would never break that i would that. never I, I saw someone drinking champagne i almost <gasps> threw up no yeah i almost threw up right there on the spot that because is, of my dare pledge yeah i know do these yeah. people not Remember it's what disgusting. they did, what they pledged. So anyway, we met at the dare. Do you remember graduation. the song? Do you remember the song they taught us? No. My mind is mine. My mind is mine. Oh, my mind I kind of do remember. That. I respect myself. Yeah, I respect it was kind of R and B a little. Like, it, was it was good. Like, and it was like smooth jazz. And they divided the grade up into like two halves, and it depended where you sat. But one half would be like, my mind is mine. And then the other half would be like, my mind is mine. Like it was an echo. Do you Ooh, remember that? Damn, the music department popped off the, with that. They did. They did. did. One thing about our town is we were known for sending people to Juilliard. Were we? No. Oh. Yeah. I was going to say. <laughs> um, um, so, yeah, we met at the sixth grade carnival where we talked about dare and just that stuff. But... We, we actually have a song. Oh, should we sing? A should we bit? sing the song? Okay, so if you guys don't know, we make songs. We're just we're musicians. It's just something that just comes naturally to us. We've been doing it since high school, um, and so we made a little bit of a song for the sixth grade carnival and how we met. So let's sing it, and then we can unpack it. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> one, two, one, two, three. Gay but straight. And I wanted to play at the sixth grade carnival. I saw her there in her dare t-shirt at the sixth grade carnival. I thought he was gay, but I wanted to play at the sixth Sixth grade grade carnival. I said, come over here, let's bounce in that house. At the sixth grade carnival, 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 we enter. And we bounce. But when the time comes to to pounce, pounce, am I gay or am I straight? I didn't kiss her, and what does that say? I thought he liked me but he's just gay there's no chemistry what does that say sometimes things just don't work out we're better off as friends anyway at the sixth grade carnival Yes. So good. That's just a little number we made. It's like very theatrical. Like, I wonder what it sounds like listening to it because, you know, there's just like, there's so much that needs to be acted out. But, it's um, so beautiful. But yeah, so that's how we met. So let, let's dive into that a little bit more. Well, we had a mutual friend. Yeah, we did. Can we say his first name? Ryan. Yeah. So we had a mutual friend, Ryan. He, and this is sad to think about. 
I was like best friends with him, like third grade to like till sixth grade. And then we were, we were, we were both, we both ended up gay and we would play like Polly pocket. We would play like, um, we, we, he had like all these Polly pockets and we would play Tyra Banks, like oh the Tyra God, Banks so show. Fun. And we would go in the pool with them. Oh, and like, we were just little gay kids. Yeah. Nothing like malicious or anything about it. And then I get to like our intermediate school, our fifth and sixth grade school. And then I started getting called gay. Yeah. And then like he started getting called gay. And then I was like, oh, well, clearly gay's wrong or not normal. So then I stopped hanging out with him. Sad. It was so sad because then people would be like, oh, Grant and Ryan. And then I came and I replaced you as that friend. You replaced Ryan. Yeah. Oh, no. I re- well, I was also his bestie. Wait, yeah. yeah. How did you know him? What did you guys do? Just through our families. Yeah. And we'd hang out like every day and we'd love to play Monopoly together. And we're, we're still, we're still friends, so. I know. he. I love that fam. Yeah, me we too. We love that. His, his mom, Kelly. Shout out Kelly. <laughs> We love her. Love she her. like that that lady. She's a saint. She is. Um. Anyways, so we we met. Th- we knew each other through Ryan. Th- that friendship, and then Grant was like a little hottie in sixth grade. Like mm-hmm. everyone wanted a piece of that, mm-hmm. but like he wasn't really fraternizing with the girls. So he also was like, ooh, like he's playing hard to get with a lot of these girls little did we know do you know who my best like i'm not even kidding who like one of my good friends was in sixth grade Ew. like i had sixth grade i had no friends Ew. except ambrose and it's just oh. kind of an if you know you know thing like ambrose was just that girl in our school um he was so always sweet, he's so i love ambrose but so he was like sweet. always an independent girly like he you know and i was i was one of his friends like we we hung out that's nice. Anyways, um, <laughs> not so, like y'all know who the fuck yeah. Ambrose is. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> but like, if you do know who Ambrose is, then it's really funny. Well, it's not funny. So, <laughs> um, Grant was like that little hottie, and then he also really looked like Shark Boy mm, in sixth grade. And, the, and and Shark Boy and Lava Girl was that was, was like it. the movie. Not mm-hmm. at that time, but like a few years prior. I and it was so ingrained in all of our collective memory. I went to a gymnastics camp and everyone kept saying that. This was like around the same time. No wonder you had such an ego in like middle school oh. and early high school. You were like being told you looked like Taylor Lautner. And then <laughs> college. I went to a real <laughs> ugly era. Well, and in high school a little bit. Oh! Oh! <laughs> No, that's so true. Yeah, I feel like senior but same. year. We I, all did. Okay, anyway, go back to what um, you're saying. I told a whole gymnastics camp that I was cousins with Taylor Lautner. Mm-hmm. They ate it up. Yeah, I bet they, they, they did. I, to this day, I never told them that. They still think you're kin they, with they, Taylor Lautner? Yes, they're probably like, oh my God, I went to like gymnastics camp when I was in sixth grade with Taylor mm-hmm. Lautner's cousin. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I was just a pathological liar. Honestly, though, what a flex for them. It is. It Especially, is. And that's before the Twilight movies came out. It was. So then they were like, oh, my God. Like It, Grant. Was, it was as it was heating up because it was like I was using that clout. I was right. Oh, that OK. Clout. Yeah, that's what you were using I think like for. New Moon like was just out. And, like, yeah. Yeah. Crazy. That is crazy. Um, so, yeah, Grant was hot. <laughs> and I, 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 I was, wasn't. You were, you, yeah. yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why. what was going on with me. Well, you had red hair. Yeah. Talk about that a little bit. That was hard. Not really. I, I liked <laughs> it. But not, I just, in, not in sixth grade. Okay, I will say that having red hair was hard until I learned to like fill in my eyebrows. Because it looked <laughs> like I didn't have eyebrows and just like red curly hair. My hair was so curly. Redheads, listen up. It might not be the red hair you need to be insecure about. It's your eyebrows. Just make sure that you, if you have really, I mean, who cares? Maybe you like that look, actually. So who cares? But yeah, I was, I, I left a lot to be desired. But I had a great personality back then. I always well, have. I always have. You were mean. Yeah, but I was just looking for a good time. And there's nothing you were, wrong you, with uh, that. You were. You were like always in your feral like era. Yeah, I was. You were so feral. I was so feral. I was feral for you. So anyway, I had a <laughs> sixth grade boyfriend. Nick. And yeah, and he was fine. And then 
But I was like, you know what? I'm young. I'm 11, 12. I'm looking for something a little bit more exciting in my life. Like, Nick's just not giving me... He's not giving. He wasn't you fulfilling what, what right. my eleven-year-old needs were. Right. He wasn't being a good partner. Or no. Like partner. No. You know, in sixth grade, when you well, you wouldn't know, but oh. you, when you were dating someone, <laughs> and they wouldn't answer you, so you would just say like so, or like to carry on a conversation, you would just say like so. so. Yeah, <laughs> like, and you're on your envy. Like a million times though, like, and you just do like a million O's, and and like you would just wait for them to respond. Yes, and this is like literally. Did you have an envy? An MV3? I did, yeah. Well, I had an MV Touch. Oh, shit. Didn't have anyone to text, but... I think I had a Blackberry in sixth grade. No! Yeah, I literally had a Blackberry. Why the fuck did you have a Blackberry? Because I would break all my phones in like five seconds. So your parents got you a Blackberry? My dad gave me his old Blackberry. And you did... Okay. Anyways, continue. I think I had it for like... That's so corporate of you. No, it it was literally in my like corporate era. Like, literally, like, on my way to the office, sixth grade. But anyway. Um, <laughs> my Blackberry. He wouldn't answer me. So he'd be like, so, you there? You there? You there? You there? And he wasn't there. So then I was like, wow. okay, I'm going to cheat on you. <laughs> <laughs> At the sixth grade carnival. And I, re- I don't know who set it up. I don't know either. But, okay, this is all I know. Someone, a mutual friend, someone told grant that i was sexually attracted to him Girl, okay <laughs> that we were in sixth grade no one told me that she was sexually attracted to me Pe- people that used to just be like ashley likes you and then you're supposed to like do something about it and so yeah. i heard like people i like i would go to the most clandestine places in that school and like kiss someone behind the stairs <laughs> or like in the tunnel on the playground Oh, that tunnel? Yeah. I had my first kiss behind the stairs, like, near the cafeteria. Oh, my God. I put so much Burt's Bees on before. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was minty as hell. Ew. His lips were probably burning. And yeah. also, like, kisses back then. Like, it was, there they, was, were was like, they were packs. They were packs. Ew. It was so weird. It was so weird. I'm, like, thinking about, not that I, well, I did with one girl in fifth grade. But it's, like, such a hyped up thing. And then you just peck. Yeah, but the but it, rush. The, yeah, the, the rush. The rush of that everyone <laughs> knowing that that's what you were doing. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, so anyway, someone told me that she liked me, and I guess I I don't know. I think I needed to, like, really show people that I, I wasn't gay. Mm. And so I'm like, okay, this little naked mole rat likes me. I'm going. <laughs> I was giving Rufus from Kim Possible. And I respect that you can admit that. Yeah. I'm just kidding, you guys. She wasn't. I had a really good personality. (laughs) She had a really great personality. No. And so there was this whole plan that somehow got made that we were going to go into one of, it was an obstacle course, the bouncy house. It was a blow up, a a blow up bouncy house obstacle course. But like you were in there for like, (laughs) you could be in there for a while. Yeah, because you go over, we went through half of it. Yeah. And then we like, just like sat. (laughs) And then we, like, kind of looked at each other. Yeah, we got to, like, the an open area in it, but we're in, like, the middle of it. Yeah. And, we like, I think we were supposed to kiss. Mm. That might have been talked about amongst our friends. Mm. And we just, we just stared at each other. <laughs> and then we didn't. And then all of a sudden I was like, this isn't going to happen. And he's not man enough for me because he's not making a move. <laughs> yeah. I knew what I wanted. And you weren't giving it to me. So then we departed the obstacle course. I was like, where is my boyfriend? And he knew what I was doing. But I was like, what, you're really going to be mad at me? Like, I was gaslighting him. (laughs) So you're really going to be mad at me right now? It's like the end of the school year. Like, get over it. And then I can't remember. But, like, I think I just, like, never really talked to him again either. Because we just never really, like, reconnected. And now he's bald. Well, you shouldn't say that. Well, I mean, it happens. I'm just saying. (laughs) I was just trying to be nice for the podcast. Well, you know. I don't care. Some some of these bitches bullied me. Actually, this guy was nice later in life. Later in life, (laughs) in high school. He was nice to me in high school, but I feel like he was a bully to me at one point. Literally every straight boy in that school, like in that group, Mm, was a bully to me at some point. Or they were just jealous. Maybe. Or they wanted to. Maybe. But yeah, that. 
time we met at the carnival. But then we didn't. You were just in the peripheral until high school. Yeah, we didn't really talk much in middle school. I was kind of doing my own thing. But I was still friends with her friends, like Nicole. You were friends in middle school? Yeah, I was friends with Nicole in middle school. Sorry, guys. Nick, let, let's just say. <laughs> let's just say. Nicole was like one of our best friends, and now she's not. Well, one of. Well, I'm still <laughs> friends. <laughs> and we consciously unfriended, like Gwyneth Paltrow. You two and did, yeah. Chris Martin. And I, and you know what? I'll still hang out with her, talk a little shit about you, yeah. get that no, out. That, that's and healthy. Then, yeah, and then yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Um, but yeah, and then in high school, um, again, some sort of other. Uh, I don't know. I had friends. I had. Fr- you always talk about how we. I didn't have friends in high school. You I didn't ha- have that many friends. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Neither did I, though. I. No, freshman year, I was in a weird era. Yeah. And that's when we really reconnected. Because I didn't, well, I had a lot of friends freshman year. I just didn't like them. Well, and you were kicked out of that group. Sophomore year. Oh. Sophomore year, because I had a bad experience underage drinking once. (laughs) And these, and I told them. Talk about it. Talk about it. No, I just, I had this experience where I was like, I just got really drunk. And then I was like, you know what? Like, I'm 15. I'm going to be sober for a while. Like, I thought I was so brave. I was like, I'm going to stop drinking. Like, people that was in scary. Our, whenever we talk about, like, our town or whatever, people think it's, like, a movie. Unless you're also from New Jersey, then you understand. And it's just normal. It's just normal but for like, some reason. Yeah, like, I, like, went too hard on the Smirnoff Ices <laughs> one night. And I just, like, didn't enjoy my experience. And then went sober like literally was like i'm not gonna drink i'm not gonna party i'm not gonna go out i'm just like a teetotaler she's 15 15. (laughs) like other kids in our grade were still like playing club penguin and i'm like i'm sober like i've just lived 40 lives in one year i was obsessing over the hunger games yeah and i'm like gymnastics yeah (laughs) and i'm battling what i thought was alcoholism (laughs) At 15. You were about to judge yourself in a rehab. No, literally. I thought I was like Britney in that time. (laughs) So I was 15. I decided to be sober. Mm -hmm. And then these girls were like, you're just not as fun as you used to be. (laughs) (laughs) And I got kicked out of the group chat. And they didn't tell me I was kicked out. I just like, it was so sad. I just thought like, oh, like it's been kind of dead. Like we should... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no one's no, been they, talking no they made you know, a new group do you want to know the worst part i think i like typed in what <laughs> no I, they didn't delete the group chart take me out they made a new, new one. one yeah and i think i messaged in the old one hey guys written, no one answered <laughs> <laughs> but you know someone, that other chat you know yeah the other that was chat. going off like oh my god that's so embarrassing yeah. <laughs> Like, did you see what she's wearing today? Oh, my God. Like, oh, that's my what God. It was like. So then finally, like, someone has the audacity. Oh, it's our friend Liz. Shout out Liz. Because she had the audacity to go up to those girls and be like, you guys are so rude. Yeah. Oh, because we also had the same lunch table. And anyway. you still sat there? Yeah. While they were on the group chat? They were all texting next to me about their plans. I was like, damn, it's cold blooded. How long did, how long did you like? Meanwhile, stay I'm going with through withdrawal. I'm not drinking. <laughs> <laughs> how long were you sitting at the lunch table after the fact that they like made a, a group chat? A, gra- a, a good long week. Time. <laughs> a generous week. Oh my god. Yeah. That's so so then embarrassing. I didn't have many friends <laughs> because of the betrayal of that. So then I, I literally would sit at home and play Harry Potter Lego video game on my brother's <laughs> <laughs> PS3. And, like, I lit- I knew I had, like, a problem of not having friends when, like, I beat the game in, like, two weekends. I was like, oh, my God, oh, I have wow. too much time on my hands. And then wow. you came in the picture. <laughs> what does that mean? Like, I, so Grant and I, my last name is Gil, Grant's Gibb. So we sat next to each other in homeroom because it's alphabetical order. Oh, yeah. So we would like chat. Okay, but chat. then we were in the choir room and they had like a couch. And so there's like 25 people in that like homeroom with us and like everyone's sitting in chairs. 
But me, Ashley, and our other friend, Nicole, who also had a G last name, we just took over the couch and would sit there for yeah. years while everyone else would go to their chairs. Oh nope, my God, and I remember us. senior year, like people rebelled. Do you remember this? No. <gasps> people sat on the couch? People like rebelled. They were like, these people have like conquered this land for too long. Oh! <gasps> They took the couch. And they sat on the couch, and we were literally, like, the audacity of these <gasps> people. I think but I do now, remember that. We in were that pissed. moment, I'm like, I respect that. No, yeah. Like, what a power move. Like, I would do that. Because what were we doing? Like, why we did we, we were think so we, like, cool. owned that couch? And we would, like, laugh and, like, talk. We would, like, ignore everyone else. No, like, we weren't mean. We, no, we weren't we were mean. in our own world. And you know what? We just knew we had that star quality at that age. Right. And no one else. No did. one else did. It, with the G last names. Yeah. When I can I can think of one, Amanda. Slay. She was such she an icon. was like, was she part of the rebel group who did that? What's who rebel? did that? <laughs> who that? sat on the couch? Oh no 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 she wasn't. Ugh, she should have been. She yeah. deserved the couch. She would have loved the couch. Slay. Anyway, <laughs> where was I going with this? Oh yeah, then we were friends from homeroom, and then I think it just really took off. And then pussy. Can I say that word? Pussy? Yeah. Yeah. Why can why not? I don't, you never know these days. Pussy. Pussy. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um Yeah, we became besties somehow. I think we had a really crazy sense of humor together. Oh, and we'd make videos together. Yeah, I was in like I loved film production for some reason. Yeah. I still do. I love production stuff. And I just knew I was destined to be in front of a camera. And so together, I used Ashley in my in my films. Yeah. And, um, but we would literally just drive around our town, oh, and that's there, what we would do every wait, night. Wait, you know what I'm thinking of? What? Think of when we would drive around town. What we would do? <laughs> <laughs> this is not to be repeated. Seriously, don't do. Don't fucking do this. Yeah, do not tell anyone. But we would. We th- we were again. Okay, this is like first year having our license. We thought it was funny. No, and, and we it's didn't not. Know. It's, it's not. not. Obviously, we don't do this now. Yeah. Okay. So shut the fuck up if you're gonna say something. For real. Um. We would be driving. And we'd turn off. <laughs> like it'd be like night. We'd turn off all our lights. No. Just to see what no, would happen. No, but we would. We would wait. <laughs> until they were we would wait us. until someone was driving towards <laughs> us. Dark mode. And then we would just go dark. We would just turn off our lights. We thought it was the funniest the thing black. in the world. Like why? And then <laughs> we would. Oh, you know, how, like flashing your high beams means like there's cops ahead, like danger, danger. We would just do that. Just yeah. To, like trick people. Yeah. Pranksters. But yeah, we just drive around. Or honk. Oh, we'd honk. <laughs> we would just so slam, slam, on our, honk. slam on our horn as we passed someone. <laughs> Remember the moaning era? Oh yeah, we'd moan. Ashley, every time would drop me off at my house and then there was like a road up to like the main road. She, <laughs> she would press her pedal to the floor and her car would take off and be like Rrr, and you would just hear ah! Like, like down the Grant's road. neighbors are definitely like, damn, Grant's getting fucked in that Hyundai Elantra. <laughs> it was just zooming up the road and this this fucking seventeen year old like, girl t- moaning all the like, way. Damn, he's treating her right. Like, that was crazy. That was crazy. And then we went to college together. Yeah, then we went to college. That's really and then now we live together. Now it's time for announcements for the good of the, the, group. Good of the group. The good of the group. For the good of the group. Um, this started when we had the same English teacher. We were in the same class. We had the same teacher sophomore, ju- junior year, mm-hmm. junior year of high school. Mm-hmm. She was really iconic. For let's example, call her Miss Pussy. Okay. No, let's not. Okay. Oh, I'm okay. I'm sorry. Let's I meant call it her in like a, in a Miss like, Smith. Okay. Miss Smith would make us firmly shake her hand upon entering the door every single day yes. of that class. And she would literally like be like criticizing Can, your oh, handshake yeah, a yeah. little. Like yeah. she would tell you like, nope, that you're like slouching. I or respected something. that. I respected that. Yeah. Ta- but ta- now whenever I give a handshake, I'm like, oh my God. Like See? I think about like Miss Smith. But like think about that because some people don't have like, you know, 
fathers in corporate world who like like my dad taught me specifically how to like yeah i guess that is nice that she did that that's so cute that like she taught that but then so that was like an iconic thing she did but then she'd also like (laughs) if i wore like a 1.5 inch tank top she would be like slut shaming me and be like put on this ratty extra 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 large hershey park t-shirt right now you bitch (laughs) (laughs) okay but can we it was kind of subtle she would do it in a really subtle way like she'd be like ashley i know but like uh, and she had a whole closet like there she had some options i know but like is my shoulder gonna distract you from learning what a fucking declarative sentence is in english class like no for for me well you're the problem you should have a mask over your eyes <laughs> and you know what i th- i think she was doing something ahead of her time the th- one thing i do respect is that she would only make you wear it for that class so then you could go and live your yeah, life that's, free yeah. outside that class yeah that was interesting so okay that that's what i was thinking when we were like thinking about announcements for the good of the group uh, that's why i thought she was iconic because what if she just thought she was protecting you from the creeps in the class from unwanted attention in that class. Like, then what if call she... out the creeps. I never saw that happen. True. True. It yeah. works both ways. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Anyway, so every Friday and Monday, we would literally take like 20 minutes, like half the class, and she would make us all go around and do announcements for the good of the group. So this yeah. could be anything that was we were, had we were going to do on the weekend or anything that was going on in our lives. And then on Monday, we would just do little recaps. But, like, they got real sometimes. Like, sometimes people, people would, would cry. Like, my uncle had a stroke and passed away. And we'd all be like, oh, yeah. No. You would get invested in, like, your classmates' lives. I know. like Because they'd be like, oh, on Saturday, I'm going to Applebee's with Rebecca, Sarah, and Annie. And, and then be Monday like, they're we'll, friends. Yeah. Like, what? Yeah. And then Monday will come and be like, well, we didn't end up going to Applebee's because, because so and so's ditched. parents couldn't drive. Yep. And I'm like, oh, like fuck, fuck Sarah's parents, fuck her. Yeah, she wanted fucking spinach and artichoke dip, half yeah. apps, like and yeah. that, that, like damn. No, but it was really fun. Like you got to know your classmates in like a a fun little way. Yes, but thinking about it, we really. Sometimes I would lie. Like Why? I, no, that's weird. You would do that. Like, if I had nothing going on, I would just say I was doing, like, something cr- just for my own entertainment, really. Like, I'd be like, oh, it's my parents' anniversary. And it wouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, it was your parents' anniversary also yeah. two weeks ago. Or, no, I don't know. Sometimes I'd be like, I'm going to, oh, sometimes. You're going to do this on the podcast. What? I'm going to lie? Yeah. Yeah, I mind, mean, I might. But you know what? Never mind. What were you going to say? <laughs> no, just announce it's for the good of the group. Like, it was, I feel like it's okay to lie if you're entertaining people. So I'm true. Stand by that. So true. And, like, you're an actress. Like, we're, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's an art. Um, but anyways, for this podcast, I also want to incorporate you guys. So if you have announcements for the good of the group, like, send us a DM on Instagram at a underscore twink underscore and underscore do you get the point like a twink and a redhead but it's like has underscores it's such a premium handle yeah so um yeah just send us a dm you can send us a voice memo like whatever um anyways let's get into our announcements for the good of the group okay they can also be like advice it can be whatever the fuck we want so please oh i want to go on a rant actually i have an announcement for the good of the group i really need private investigators on tiktok to shut Shut the the fuck fuck up. up Everyone, whatever's happening in the moment, suddenly everyone comes an expert on, like, this submarine went missing and was found and ended in tragedy. And all these people the past five days have become marine fucking biologists. Mm-hmm. Like, they got their degree, like, mm-hmm. from a renowned university. I saw a TikTok that said, like, hello, like, I found the submarine. I'm on my shark app. My fucking shark tracking app. And it's right here. There's a ping. Girl, please put the fucking shark app down. This and girl watched Shark Week three summers and is all of a sudden like, the I'm Megalodon. a forensic investigator. Yeah. It's ridiculous. No, my thing is, oh, I saw a TikTok too that was like, giant squids. Hello. <laughs> they live down there. And I'm like, 
Now, what a crazy accusation against the squid community to make. Meanwhile, these people imploded. Yeah. But I just feel like these investigators, like, get real, touch some grass. Touch some grass. Get off the internet. And it's Let the, when, when, did we, when did we stop letting the professionals do their damn jobs? Well, when the they same thing happened during COVID. Let the damn professionals do their thing. Yeah. Or like anytime there's a murder, these people on TikTok the think Idaho, they can solve it. You guys, the Idaho murders, this is crazy. Um, like the, the sorority, terrible, Brian Kober, hate him. Like he can rot. He, anyways, um, people on TikTok before they like accused Brian or whatever the fuck the right terminology is. Mm -hmm. Um, there was a psych, a girl who proclaims she's a psychic, like saying that the professor did it. A professor of one of the students, like who also was somehow having an inappropriate relationship with her too, or whatever. Like she did it. And like this professor had nothing to do with it. And it no like evidence. ruined like that. These kind of TikTok detectives could ruin people's lives in a way where it's like, I think this because X, Y, and Z. And then that person, people like just hop on board with that because uh, I don't know. People yeah. really, people genuinely believe anything that they see on the internet and lack critical thinking skills, unfortunately. Yeah. And like view tragedies as like entertainment. Mm -hmm. And then they're like making these TikToks investigating and you're weird for that. Yeah. That's my yeah. rant. That's my announcement for the good of the group is touch grass today. Just. Put it in your hands. Soak it up. Roll around. Roll around in some grass. Turn off your damn phone and just roll around on a hill, a valley. That's so beautiful. It is. I think that's it. That was my announcement, too. Just touch grass. Touch grass and suck dip. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. Well, you guys, thank you so much for joining us. Come back thank here. Thank you. Come back here for more of this of this stuff. It was nice meeting you. It was so nice meeting you. Love you. Love you. Bye. A twink. And a redhead. A twink. And a redhead. A twink.